that atmosphere in Crow Park for the quarterfinal? Like, it, it was a very special day, I think, for people from Mayo and Roscommon because there's such a a good rivalry. It's quite a warm rivalry at times. Mm. Maybe as the years go on, as Roscommon are now back, it becomes there's a little bit more of an edge to it. But 60,000 people, you go seven points up after 12, 13 minutes. I know you don't have much time to catch your breath, but is there a moment after you score that second goal and you look to be in complete control and heading towards an All-Ireland semi-final where you, you hear that noise of the Ross Common fans and do you, do you pause for a second at any stage and think, wow, this is what it's all about? Mm, no, never. You ne- <laughs> never. Ne- no, you never. You never think of, I suppose, semi-final. You're just thinking of, like, this is me, like, this is obviously me overplaying. They've been in this situation how many times and... Like it was, you said twelve minutes there. That it was seven points up. Gee, I didn't even know it was twelve minutes myself. You know, that's kind of thinking. You don't know what's this, like what's left, what's happening, what's going on up up at the end of the pitch. You're just kind of focusing on yourself and kind of doing your own job. Wondering where the hell Lee Higgins got to. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Still, <laughs> but uh, um, that's really what you're kind of looking out for. And it's there was never a moment that crossed my. I think maybe in the second half. I think we got level at one stage and maybe there was 10 minutes left and there's a bit of momentum with us that maybe, yeah, we can drive on now for these 10 minutes. But like Mayo are just a, such a battle-hardened team and extremely, extremely difficult to beat. Like Even the best team of the last, possibly ever, the Dublin team, struggled mm. to beat Mayo and they don't really perform against them. It's just they managed to grind it out. And I suppose being in that position, like it's a huge experience for us, but it is a huge learning curve, especially after the second day that we're still... A, Still a long way off where we want to go, but that first day definitely would have given us confidence that I suppose that we can get to that level. But it takes you know a lot of a lot of to- a lot of hard work and hard knocks. Like, it's a difficult question to answer in terms of how far you think you are off that level. We we need yeah. Ross Common, we need Down Donegal, we need teams to close the gap on well Dublin and then Mayo, Kerry, Tyrone. How far off? Do you think you are, and how much do you think you gained from this season? Um, okay, first of all, we we have gained a lot, gained a lot from this season. But I think individual as players and team collectively and management have learned a lot. I suppose going back to the first question with how far, like how I think I think Dublin and Mayo are playing on a different playing field than anyone else. I think they're just, I think the semi finals showed that. I know Mayo went to a replay, but I just think I just I thought myself they were a lot ahead of Kerry going into that game. I think the two of them. You know, there's very little between Dublin and Mayo and then Kerry and, Ter- Kerry and Tyrone obviously are next in the ladder and they're a good bit below Kerry Tyrone but then you have the chasing pack you know I, you'd like to put ourselves in there i say Monaghan Kildare Galway Donegal I think you have five or six teams there maybe just behind the likes of Kerry and Tyrone that are I suppose striving to make a semi-final and looking to I suppose really make a statement in championship mm. and not having just one big win to kind of live off you know we're really striving now to really I suppose get to get to that level of performance week in week, in, week out that you know Kerry and Tyrone have done the last last while and then obviously Mayo and Dublin are always doing so that's I think that's really that's where, our, that's where I would have the rankings of teams at the moment anyway there still is a chasing pack but Dublin and Mayo are, are still the top top of the hill 